The trailer opens on the Doctor Strange we all know and love before cutting to his ponytail sporting variant, Defender Strange. This character could be a reference to the comic The Defenders, a Doctor Strange led team that includes heavyweights such as Prince Namor, the Hulk, and the Silver Surfer, who helped protect the Earth against interdimensional entities. Not to be confused with the Marvel Netflix series The Defenders, he's looking at newcomer America Chavez, as he appears to be using a magic shield to defend against a chaotic dimension. We hear the voice of the Ancient One saying, This universe is only one of an infinite number. Number, as we meet the next variant of Strange, Sinister Strange, who looks to be pulled straight from Marvel's hit Disney Plus animated series What If, which is where we saw a darker version of Doctor Strange who attempted to use the Time Stone to bring back the love of his life, Dr. Christine Palmer. It's unlikely this is the exact same version as the What If Strange, since he is last seen protecting a pocket dimension imprisoning Ultron and Killmonger, but he does bear a striking similarity. Next, we see quick shots of Doctor Strange wearing a tuxedo, attending what is likely to be his wedding day to Christine. This could be a dream or an alternate reality where Strange gets to live out happily ever after, but this dream will probably turn into a nightmare. Then we get a glimpse of Doctor Strange in a blue uniform, and from what we've seen in the other trailers, this is some kind of prison where Strange is brought before a council to be judged for tampering with reality. The council may be the MCU bringing the Illuminati into the fold, a highly secretive team of some of the heaviest hitters in the Marvel Universe. We know from a previous trailer that Professor X from the original Fox X-Men films says they need to tell Strange the truth. While it's still a rumor that Patrick Stewart will be reprising his role as Professor X, it's probably safe to say we're going to get a glimpse of the mutant leader in the upcoming film, opening a gateway to finally bring one of Marvel's most beloved teams into the MCU. Next, there's a quick shot of a broken watch, the same watch Strange wore in the first film, which was given to him as a gift from Christine. This watch was broken when he was robbed near Kamar Taj looking for the Sorcerer Supreme to heal his broken hands, and served as the introduction to Karl Mordo when he came to the aid of Strange. Strange keeps the broken watch as a totem and reminder of his life before the accident. The watch also bears a striking resemblance to the Sanctum Sanctorum window, before the Hulk crashed through it in Infinity War, that is. It appears this watch serves a great purpose in the new film, and it appears several times in the trailer, such as strapped to a hatch door that opens into what some speculate to be the Utopian Parallel from the comics. The Utopian Parallel has ties to newcomer to the MCU America Chavez, but also to one of Wanda's lost children, Billy, aka Wiccan. Then we get a glimpse of Wanda with her eyes glowing red. She seems to be fully embracing her new powers as the Scarlet Witch. When we last saw Wanda in WandaVision, she had just lost everything she'd ever loved. Vision, her two children, Billy and Tommy, and she secluded herself in a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. There we saw her enjoying a cup of coffee, but as we moved through her house we saw that she was casting a body double so she could continue studying the Darkhold, the Book of the Damned. It's safe to say we're going to be seeing a more powerful Scarlet Witch than ever before. A recurring shot in the Doctor Strange trailers is Strange screaming as his body is being split apart into different versions. We can see he's holding America Chavez, making her Marvel Cinematic Universe debut. America is a fairly new character in the Marvel Comics universe, debuting only in 2011 and showing up in later series of Young Avengers. One of her main superpowers is the ability to create interdimensional portals by separating dimensions. Sounds like she's going to have her work cut out for her in the Multiverse of Madness. Strange looks upon a crumbling, decaying version of New York City before the trailer cuts to a present-day version of the city. It seems that in one reality the city has been torn apart and is folding in on itself. From one of the previous trailers, this also appears to be the same reality where a monument to Doctor Strange has been erected in front of the Sanctum Sanctorum, hinting that it's possible Doctor Strange perished in that reality while trying to save the world from some type of multiversal threat. Next, we see Wanda meditating in her Scarlet Witch costume before a quick cut that appears to take us back to Westview from WandaVision. Wanda might be confronting her past while becoming becoming more unhinged with her new powers. One of the more frightening shots of the trailer is Wanda walking barefoot out of a giant orange doorway. She's covered in blood and uses her powers to effortlessly destroy some type of bot. As the bot explodes, there's a full screen explosion and a figure being blown back by the incredible force. It's unclear if this is strange being attacked by Wanda, but this looks to be setting the stage for what will undoubtedly be an epic final fight. One of the coolest new shots to be added to this trailer is America Chavez running from a tentacled monster, bearing a strong resemblance to Shuma Garoth. Fans got a small taste of Shuma Garoth in the first episode of What If, when Red Skull opens a portal using the Tesseract to summon the giant tentacled monster before he was defeated by Agent Carter with the help of an Iron Man wearing Steve Rogers. Now though, it seems that the monster is crawling its way onto the big screen. 
Based on previous trailers, it appears Strange dukes it out with his creature in the streets of New York City, bringing some of the most iconic comic battles between the Doctor and this monster to life. In this shot, you can clearly see runes lining the tentacles of the creature, hinting that this monster might be under some kind of spell. These runes bear a striking similarity to the one seen in Agatha's basement in WandaVision when the Darkhold is first revealed, and also have a similarity to the ruins in Spider-Man No Way Home, when Doctor Strange first tried to cast a spell to make everyone forget Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Doctor Strange then uses a magic buzzsaw to cut a bus in half, saving America Chavez temporarily from the monster's attack. Next, we see Strange stepping in front of a council of shadowy figures sitting in giant chairs. This is where the Illuminati speculation can really run wild. We see there are six chairs, with one presumably being Professor X, but the other members are still being kept secret. Based on the comics, an educated guess is that the other members of the Illuminati would include Black Panther or some type of Black Panther variant. It's possible in one reality Killmonger lived on to take the role of Black Panther. That was his birthright. T'Challa has previously been a member of the Secret Council, and it could be a way to introduce a new actor as Black Panther following the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman. The role still remains open for now, though, and with Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever slated for November 2022 release, this could be a way to tease a new Black Panther moving forward. It's also possible we could see a Tony Stark variant as well. Iron Man has served as a core member of the Illuminati, and what better way to shock fans than the appearance of an Iron Man variant? Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, is another member of the Illuminati in the comics. As one of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe, it would make sense he would be involved in the Secret Council. This could be Marvel's way of setting up new franchises, especially ones that previously belonged to Fox. An interesting side note, the Fantastic Four is being helmed by John Watts, the Spider-Man MCU trilogy director, and is slated to close out Phase 4 of the MCU. Prince Namor is another likely candidate, and since rumors have been swirling about his appearance as the villain of Black Panther 2, this could be a perfect moment to show off his villainous character. Carl Mordo then declares that this is Strange's reckoning for tampering with timelines, one that has been coming since the finale of the first Doctor Strange film, when Mordo turned his back on Strange and went on a mission to strip all sorcerers of their magic powers. It seems Mordo is tied to the Illuminati and the prison facility where Ultron guards escort Doctor Strange to his trial. We then see Mordo attack Strange, as Strange uses his bonds to block his sword. This could be a misdirection by the trailer, though, as Mordo could actually be freeing Strange from his bonds to aid in escape. Next, we see Wanda battling out with a mystery character, which could be America Chavez powered up, or someone else who's yet to be seen. Wanda is in her civilian clothes, though, which means there's going to be some jumping around between Scarlet Witch and Wanda. It's possible this civilian Wanda is another variant, possibly even more powerful than the Scarlet Witch. We see a brief glimpse of a character powering up. Some fans have speculated this is an Iron Man variant, rumored to be played by Tom Cruise, but it also could be America Chavez encased in a power suit, as we've yet to see the extent of her powers. Then there's a shot of Christine in a different world, which seems to line up with the dimension revealed when Strange opens the hatch to the Utopia parallel. Wong screams out, Strange, in desperation as he holds on for dear life, leading to the final shot of Doctor Strange shooting out two magical dragons from his hands as it appears he and Wong are under attack. Last we saw Wong, he was leaving the Sanctum Sanctorum in the beginning of Spider-Man No Way Home before Strange cast his spell for Peter Parker. The repercussions of No Way Home seem to be a massive effect on where we meet Strange in this new film, but we'll have to wait until the film is released on May 6th to know for sure. Make sure you subscribe to Movie Logic for more daily movie facts, trivia, and Easter eggs. Okay.